Welcome to this week's edition of Maison Journals. Just a quick video this week. Um, we are back in the UK, so this is going to be a couple of weeks behind. The builders are just doing the last bit of plastering in the house. We And that's when we start to think about our jobs next year, early spring, because everything needs to be planned for materials and stuff. So we're really keen to get the scaffolding down off of the house. It's been up for two years because we had to replace the soffits and stuff like that. So really keen to get the scaffolding down. So um, we're looking at painting the front of the house very, very early spring, as soon as the weather allows us to. And we're looking at colours. Um, when we um, first bought the house, I started to look at colours then very naively, thinking that would be one of the first jobs, but actually it's going to be the last job because there was so much to do in the house. And I saw a picture of Monet's house. It, it's pink with green windows. So we did choose our windows uh, green, RAL 6011. And we need to find the exterior paint. Um, but we don't have to be too pink. So it's quite difficult looking at all the colors. So it's a short time of events. As I said, we are back in the UK for now. So we're two weeks behind, but um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and thank you for watching. So this is Monet's house looking rather beautiful. And that's what we're trying to recreate. But we need to be careful and get the right pink this is the green that we have used on the windows and this is the setting plaster in fur and ball or a safer kind of cornish color i took a picture of this house which was quite inspirational um onto the floors we have tomets uh, all on the ground floor really really lucky to have these but it's going to be quite cold in the winter so I was going to order some sizable rucks to dot around like this for the ground floor because we have the dogs coming in and out. And then I went to the DIY store and they sell three different qualities of sizable on 12 foot rolls with quite a good backing. But what was really good is not only do they cut it to size, they cut it to any shape as well. They have this huge machine. So it means we can order all of those to be cut for size to the hallway, which is really long and runs from the front to the back of the house. And we've got the dogs going in and out, so that'd be really, really good. Some dreadful carpet, but, but some really nice things as well. So then we headed back home after a short stop off at the boulangerie. And then we got stuck in a traffic jam. How beautiful is this? Going from a very small house um, to a very big house does have its pluses. Um, as I've previously mentioned, I am a collector of things that are that I find beautiful that serve no purpose, um, but I've that I find beautiful. And I've got boxes and boxes of items that I have um, stored away in the hope that one day I will be able to get them out. So I've been going through those boxes. And as the fabulous William Morris said, have nothing in your house that serves no purpose or is not beautiful. So that gives me an excuse to put these 1970s Simpson prints up finally at last. Whilst driving through a local village, um, we'd driven through here a couple of times and there was a small book on and it was always closed. Whether we got there at 10.30 or 2 in the afternoon, I just thought it was a long lunch. And this time it was 10.30 and they still wasn't open. Really, really nice things in the window, but we just couldn't get inside. So um, in my very terrible French, I phoned up the lady. There was a number in the window and she said she'd be at the top shop within 10 minutes. So we had a look around this beautiful village waiting for her to arrive 
I wasn't sure of my French. I think she said she was going to arrive in five or ten minutes, but we waited 25 minutes and had a lovely walk around this village, which was beautiful. And then she arrived in a very French car. She was very friendly. She let us into the shop and we had a really good look around. It was really, really nice of her. And these are just a few bits in the shop and things that we bought. So this is what we bought, a tile to put the kettle on, a water jug, well, I'm gonna use it as a water jug, a mirror, and some tiles that we're gonna insert into the original white tiles at the house. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed.